Welcome Leo to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 9th of October. This week begins with Venus arriving in the sign of Virgo, but it's been with you for four long months, including that extended retrograde. So since the 5th of June, an opportunity has been there to perhaps make some changes with your personal appearance. If you're someone who really likes to follow fashions, you may have upscaled things in different ways. If you're someone who's a little bit more rooted in the way you dress, maybe it's been around your creative talents that you've been taking more care. If you are someone who's very much into style or fashion or art, then this has definitely been a time when you've been pushed to appreciate all the riches that you possess. But some of those riches may not necessarily be physical riches as much as that spark of ingenuity and talent that lies within you. Now, of course, Venus can also be about relationships. And Venus being in your own sign uh, has made you more mindful of your needs rather than quite so much being tuned into others. And the irony of that is Pluto, since 2008, has actually given you a lot of responsibilities, I feel, for other people. Now, it does go direct on Wednesday, but not before Venus runs into a little bit of a celestial roadblock in the guise of Saturn. Now, I can say with almost absolute certainty that every time Venus moves into the second solar house of someone's situation, it, it does lead to some kind of serendipity, some kind of stroke of fortune. It can be linked to money, or you can just start to feel... Uh, the thing we've been working on in terms of that creativity starts to, to shape up in a way which is tangible, and that is very pleasing. But because Saturn's in opposition to Venus this time, you could have something good happen, but there may be something that you want to buy straight away, or there may be something that is to do with a past cost or legacy or debt that you actually want to discharge, you want to get rid of it. So there can be some kind of uh, limitation to the amount of of uplift that you could get at the start of this week. But keep the faith, over the next few weeks, you're gonna find that your appreciation of good food and good wine and sensuality will all go up, and there can be some good news coming, or better news coming around your financial situation. Now, Pluto going direct, it's been retrograde in your sixth house since the 11th of June. Before that, it was in the seventh house since the 1st of May in retrograde, that thing where you've really had a lot on your plate to support others, it's coming to a, an end, it really will come fully to an end by early November 2024, but you've got another 14 and a half weeks of perhaps trying to work out things around your work, transformation around your work, taking your physical vitality seriously, your health. There could be things you've got to, uh, a grapple with you may be a little bit reluctant the sixth house is not the most dynamic or sexy part of our lives but it is very much to do with function so if there's transformations around your daily routines your approach to health and fitness or your job it wouldn't be a surprise thursday also sees mars move out of the third house for you and into the sign of scorpio which it rules mars here gives you a glorious opportunity to use any energy you have to make some physical changes to your home so you've been wanting to redecorate or do something um, to do with you know building if there is a, a, a new room that you want to get uh, moving forward so you want to change a kitchen or a bathroom or have a major declutter you can have a lot of drive to get that done over the next six weeks but Mars can also be quite impatient. And in the fourth house, it can uh, sometimes be quite abrasive around more sensitive situations. So something could happen that really triggers you a little bit. And I think this week, because Venus and Mars are still in touch, although Mars forges a great link with Saturn, Venus clearly doesn't. So if you try to relate into a situation in a very fair way, perhaps around money, and someone's not being particularly fair-minded and reasonable, then this week and also over the next six weeks or so, you might find yourself being a little bit more impatient if you feel that people 
uh, are not flexing quite as much as they could around your uh, needs, your emotional needs, or uh, if there are family dynamics that don't quite work as well as you would like, they could be more irritating. You may find yourself not quite so easily able to uh, just rationalize things. However, the solar eclipse of Saturday does occur in Libra, where of course we have Mercury since last week and where we did have Mars up until Thursday. And that's all about everyday ideas. It's about expressing things, can be about learning, can be about teaching. If you've got ideas that you can share with someone, the next year and a half is going to be really exciting. I feel there's a step change coming for you. I feel that you, you're needing uh, much more stimulation. I feel that you have gone through a period of great duty which you know is is really to be applauded but your sons you're ruled by the sun and you're a fire element sign so you need to feel passion with what you do and if life has become a little bit uh work a day a little bit too uh predictable and systematic i think really what the solar eclipse is saying to you is that you need a lot of freshness to come into your situation over the next year and a half and the more you can expand your knowledge and the more you can converse with people and the more you can engage even with technology or people immediately around you, neighbours, community projects, uh, siblings, the more stimulation is going to be heading your way. Thank you for having joined me. If you are new to my channel, this is very much a community. Do share any thoughts you have. If you're a returning visitor, it's lovely to have your company once more. And if you've yet to like, comment or subscribe, I'd be honoured if you did so now. And please know, if you give me your birth data, three pieces of information if you know your time, two if you don't, I can prepare for you your year 2024 forecast, but I'll give you the rest of this year free. But in my special package of 30% off, you can also get your life roadmap, your character analysis, which gives you searing insights into the patterns that have played out in your life so far and help you to work with them in a really constructive way going forwards. Please see the link beneath this video for more information. Thank you.